till my oldest brother um, got to high school and decided to, to do well in school. And he ended up going to NYU, um, but he was only there for a semester and he, before he had to, to drop out because he was living at home and he was struggling to pay um, the tuition mm -hmm. and struggling to buy books and struggling to, you know, just to get money to, to eat. Um, and then he was also living at home with, you know, six little brothers and sisters who were, you know, very young and, and uh, into trouble. And he eventually dropped down and went into the army um, and is in the military now. But I remember before he left, he would, you know, sit me down because he saw that I was getting into trouble mm -hmm. and that I was doing, I was getting suspended all the time. I was constantly, you know, fighting with my mother. And I remember he would sit me down on weekends and he would tell me, you know, you have to go to school. You have to get, you have to go to college and get out of here. And you have to, you have to study. And one of the things he did was to keep me out of trouble and to keep me off the basketball courts. My mother had this set of encyclopedias and he would, you know, take an encyclopedia before he would leave to go to class, if it was a Saturday or Sunday, or mm -hmm. before he would leave to go to the library. And he would flip through the encyclopedia and say, okay, you know, Martin Luther King, give me, read this and then give me an essay, 500 words by the time I get home. Mm -hmm. Or he'd flip through and say, okay, Manhattan Project or Thomas Paine, give me an essay on this by the time I get home. And at first I hated it, but um, eventually I started to learn about the world and became curious and interested in, in chemistry and civil rights leaders and um, in World War II. And that kind of got me on the right path because I started to think, okay, maybe I should pay attention in class. And I saw that my brother was struggling and having a difficult time. So he was really the first person, the first male role model for me mm -hmm. to say, okay, you're getting into trouble. Your life is heading somewhere very bad. You're going down a very terrible path. Let me 